Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Lego The Hobbit Free Roam. And we're gonna go uh, stop by old Thranduil's kingdom and check out some quests and grab some collectibles. We're gonna grab the Mirkwood Elf, both the guard and the chief guard, as well as Thranduil himself. One red brick that we find, but we didn't have enough to pay for it. Uh, and I don't mean studs, I mean mithril bricks to forge the item needed. And then we also pick up three of those precious mithril bricks. So as it sits, at the end of this video, we are one brick shy of having uh, the amount needed to forge, and we end up not being able to do it. So we find it for you, we show you where it's at, and uh, it'll be forever marked and open for you. But the uh, fact is, we don't have enough bricks to forge for it. So anywho, we're going to go ahead and set our target uh, at first, and it's going to be the Mirkwood Elf Guard, which is just right around the corner from the Travel Stone. It's only going to cost you 30,000 studs. So, uh, oh, to the yeah, hop on board. Let's go, buddy, let's go. All right, so moving along, look at that. With our 960 times multiplier on, it only takes a few mushrooms before we get that uh, money back. So next, we're going to head up to Mr. Thranduil himself. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm trying. I'm trying. And we're going to cut across the bridge here and go up and around the Kona. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no! All right, so some advice. Uh, it's always good to use your mount while not in Thranduil's kingdom. It's a little bit Squirrel McDougan here. As you can see, I keep falling, and I finally give up and just go on foot. So we can find Mr. Hot Pants right around the corner over here. And uh, he's a pretty hot item, and uh, he'll be flashing around the corner here. Ready? Wait for it. Up and over the woods and hills we go. To Thranduil's kingdom we go. All right, just keep following that yellow stud trail, and look at that. He's fine. all the way at the top. We will find him. So, yeah. Now we're going to break some bread on it, too. 35K. But that's easy, too. Easy peasy. Shoot, with the 960 multiplier. We're, watch that. Look at that. Boom. Already well overpaid for it. So, no worries there. Next, we're going to go ahead and target. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a mithril brick and see what's going down there, huh? And, uh... Basically, uh, we're going to use the old uh, flail to swing out on these owls. Who? Did you say? I said the owls. We're going to use them. So everyone keeps asking me why these owls are even here. And, and it's clearly just so I can make who jokes. Uh, that's got to be the only reason. They, I know they mix it up a little bit with us swinging around on the flail. But uh, truth be told, it's simply because they knew I would have some good uh, who jokes. <laughs> Actually, they're not that good, but, uh, you know, it's hard to pass up. It's like, uh, you know, when you go into an ice cream parlor, it's hard to not get, like, a waffle cone with, like, five scoops because ice cream is delicious. Maybe I just have a problem. I don't know. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and target the next mithril brick, and uh, we're going to duck back for a few extra studs because we are uh, we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, speaking of problems, did you see how I couldn't get up that last step there? It was kind of weird. Once in a while, you run into one of those little technical bugs. But uh, that being said, we're almost to the end, and we've had uh, very few bugs, really. I mean, we've had one or two along the way, a couple of what the moments. But uh, uh, we're going to roll. We almost picked that dude up, and uh, but we decided to wait. We'll go ahead and target him next. But uh, first, we're going to switch to an elf and use the old jump pad wall. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, we. Got to make sure you get your timing right, and uh, you necessarily, uh, or not necessarily, you need to be pressing a direction left or right, maybe both ways, and uh, jump all the way to the top, and booyah kashow. So, probably wondering why our mithril brick count is a little bit off. We did go and forge another one between the last video and this one, but that doesn't matter. Uh, Mirkwood Chief Guard standing here, 35k as well. We'll go ahead and add him to our list. And uh, last but not least in this little particular area is the red brick. So unfortunately, this is the one that we do not have enough bricks to forge. And that's because of my uh, changing it up with the amount of bricks or whatnot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and show it to you. And hopefully you do have enough bricks. Uh, eventually, I catch up, obviously, and uh, I get them all. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. It's actually a cleanup pass we do uh, at the end of Erebor, which is our last level that we clean up. Uh, we go and we get the last couple. I think there's three red bricks that we need to come back and get. So anyways, we're going to jam out to the old pine forest. So get your caca and fly on out there. 
once you get out there, you can see that you're going to need to use the old campfire. We uh, we did for sure cut the campfire scene out because nobody wants to see these dudes holding their wieners by a campfire anymore. And I mean hot dog wieners. Oh, we both got to see it anyways. Oh, that's a bummer. I apologize for that. I, I tried to tell you it wasn't coming, but I fooled you on a wee bit. And uh, there it was. So, All right, moving along, we're going to follow the yellow brick road all the way down and under. Down under. And we're going to talk to this dude, and he tells us this story about... Oh, how, you know, so-and-so, Azog, Blase, Blase, Azog's mom. And now we got to go put the hurting down on Azog's mom. So this is the last brick for this video. And uh, it was pretty short and sweet, really. We have sped this up quite a bit, but it still takes, I don't know, a couple minutes to get in there and defeat it all because it comes in waves. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. There's three waves, as in most of the Lego bosses and situations. Third time's the charm. And there she is with her makeup on and her little uh, pink outfit and uh, her hair's all dud up all nice for us. Look at that. We almost have matching. We, we must have the hair, same hairstylist. Same hair color anyways. And it uh, looks like she just got hers wrapped up in a little bun while mine's hanging out. But uh, you know the drill how this works. Basically, you got to run up to her and uh, hit the icons indicated. Sometimes you have to spam them. Sometimes it's just a one-time deal. I chased her down and tried to take her out but wouldn't let it happen. And uh, now they give us a list of guys we gotta take down, so cha -da, cha -da, cha -da, cha -da. go ahead and spin to win, do whatever you want, whichever character you got. Uh, eventually, you're gonna have to fight this gold wife hand to hand, and uh, no spin to win on that guy. And then she drops back down, and we repeat the process. We go ahead and spam the buttons, cha 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 cha. She swings and a miss, and booyaka shell, pow right in the kisser. So, uh, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and destroy everything in sight. We do have the character studs uh, red brick on, so that helps us, uh, makes this a little bit more worthwhile. Getting paid while also getting loot, which we also have the double the Lego loot on as well. So here we go. Third time is the charm. We're just going to repeat this process. And uh, look, we got a guy trying to get involved. He's like, hey, can I cut in? And we're like, nope, see you later. And then uh, Mr. Gandalf, oh, no, I guess it's uh, Dory takes him out. Or Ori. One of the ones. One of the Ori's. The, one of the ORIs, I guess they will kind of sound. Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, so uh, Pine Forest is now conquered. Why did we go back there? Well, there was actually a mission that popped up after we uh, completed one of the ones in Thranduil's kingdom. So uh, that's why we came back here to the old Pine Forest, but that's pretty much it. We're going to run out of this cave right quick and check out the map and make sure that uh, we got it all. The only thing we didn't get was that red brick up there that's flashing at us. But otherwise, we've got this map pretty much picked clean uh, west of a lake town. So just those couple couple red bricks floating out there. So oh to the yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego the Hobbit Free Rome in Thranduil's kingdom. And uh, yeah, so sorry sorry we didn't successfully grab that red brick, but I promise you we do come back and get it. And like I said, hopefully uh, you didn't make any off-screen mithril brick forges like we did and uh, end up being just about, just short of the amount needed. So anyways, uh, hopefully you guys have found this enjoyable, a little bit helpful, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit entertaining. I don't know. I guess it's all the same. Enjoyable, helpful, entertaining. We All right, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Uh, we also have HappyThumbsGaming.com. I'm sure you're getting tired of hearing me tell you what's over there, but lots of good stuff. I'll just say that for this video. So not a lot left. Uh, that's going to do it. So as always, until next time.